Welcome to this collective astrology forecast for the week of April 22nd to 28, 2024. We start this week under a waxing Libra moon that is with the South Node, getting ready for the full moon in Scorpio on Tuesday. As I mentioned last week, this will be the first full moon in Scorpio without an eclipse since April 2021, but it will likely still be intense because it finds itself in a T-square with Pluto. This is as we are coming off the weekend's exact conjunction between Jupiter and Uranus at 21 degrees of Taurus, the first time these two heavyweights have been together in the sign of the bull since 1941. They will still travel very closely to each other for the rest of the week, so continue to stay open and be on the lookout for intuitive downloads, breakthroughs, new possibilities, and rapid changes. I would also add Watch the Road. Over the weekend on Saturday, as they approached their exact conjunction, I saw so many people driving carelessly with countless running solid red lights. Jupiter with Uranus can give a strong sense of optimism and freedom, but also extreme recklessness. So stay cautious till they separate more by May. Therefore, heading into this week, we are still under the strong influence of this major conjunction with its opportunities for great expansion, but also dramatic change. On Monday, with the Libra Moon sitting with the South Node and opposing Mercury in the North Node, things could be very sensitive. We might find ourselves longing for harmony and relationships of the past. Hearts and minds are likely to be at odds. With the logical side of us saying whatever we're holding on to is likely something that we need to let go of, perhaps a codependency or people-pleasing side of ourselves, or a relationship that's limiting our freedom and future. We're preparing ourselves for the intense energy of the upcoming full moon in Scorpio, which encourages us to delve deep into our emotions and transform what no longer aligns with our true selves. So in the next 24 hours leading up to this lunation, take the time out to reflect on what needs releasing, but be aware there might be a strong push and pull and possible friction with partners or within us. The waxing almost full moon will also oppose Chiron and Venus as the day goes on, so be very patient with yourself and others. Some self-care might be in order. On Tuesday, April 23rd, just before 5pm, we have the full moon in Scorpio. The Taurus sun and Scorpio moon are in a T-square with Pluto in Aquarius. We're looking to move forward with clarity and empowerment. The question is how to balance that abundant stability of Taurus, the profound depth of Scorpio, and the liberating energy of Aquarius. Pluto, acting as the catalyst within the T-square, holds the key to unlocking our deepest potential and helping us in a kind of rebirth. Pluto wants us to confront our fears, shed what no longer serves us, and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. Those with fixed sign placements in the first deacon, especially around those four degrees of Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo, will be locked into the T-square, with Leo placements in very tense fixed grand cross. Power dynamics and issues of control will be very strongly challenged for these signs. This is an intense full moon which wants us to be the ultimate alchemists. Jupiter and Uranus are still close to each other and will both be at that 22 degrees by Tuesday night and Mercury is getting ready to station by the North Node. It will be as close to the North Node as it will get on Wednesday night. So right now there is inspiration abounding and so many doors to our future are opening, but first we need to be able to process where we grasp at control or alternately play it weak. Only by being radically honest and real with ourselves can we harness the full spectrum of our power and step into our true essence, ready to embrace the abundance, depth and freedom that awaits us on the other side. On Thursday, April 25th, just before 6am, Mercury stations direct. Slowly but surely, our minds and communication will begin to get back on track. On Thursday, though, just watch out for delays and double-check everything. Give yourself lots of extra time to get where you need. The post-retrograde shadow will end on May 13th, so over these next two weeks or so, we will be making a final return visit to some of those areas of communication and contracts that started around mid-March. As we finish out the week, Mars will be very close to Neptune in Pisces, the conjunction exact on Sunday night. 
It can be an inspired combination, getting us working towards our ideals, but it can also be draining and even self-defeating. Saturday evening could be especially elusive, frustrating or exciting, depending on your preference and who you're surrounded by. The Sagittarius moon will be squaring that Mars and Neptune combination, but will at the same time try and Venus in Aries. It could feel like stumbling around a seaside attraction in a fog, unsure of what might be around the next corner. Or perhaps it's exhilarating to go on this little adventure. Be open to fun, but maybe watch for ideological battles, drive carefully, and be cautious about what you consume, especially beverages. Sunday night, the conjunction between Mars and Neptune will be exact at 28 degrees of Pisces. Mars represents action, drive, ambition, while Neptune is all about dreams, intuition, and those unseen realms. With these two coming together, we might find ourselves feeling inspired to pursue our goals with creativity and spirituality, dreaming of a better world, our lofty ideals unleashed in a flurry of action, making dreams and visions a physical reality. However, it's essential to stay grounded and avoid getting carried away by fantasies or illusions. This conjunction is also known to have the opposite effect at times, draining physical life force, where it feels like nothing can be done. Keeping our heads on straight and using discernment will be important, checking in to see if our idealism, or pessimism, is actually realistic. Fortunately, at the same time, the Capricorn moon is trying the Taurus sun. Together, they're offering us a steady foundation to work with the imaginative energy of Mars and Neptune, encouraging us to stay focused on our long-term goals, remain resilient in the face of challenges, and take practical steps towards manifesting those dreams. It's a supportive combination that helps us stay grounded while still tapping into all that creative potential. Next week, just before dawn on Monday, April 29th, Venus enters one of her home signs, Taurus, a chance to relish all the beauty of this earth, our bodies, and the comforts of life. The very next day, on Tuesday, April 30th, Mars enters its home sign of Aries, bringing drive, ambition, and a lot of energy. So for the next month or so, the dispositors of the South Node and North Node, as well as the archetypal energies of the feminine and masculine, will be in their respective home signs. This should be a wonderful shift that helps us get in touch with our own inner masculine and feminine sides, smooth relationships, and help us to attract as well as go after what we desire. And on Thursday, May 2nd, Pluto stations retrograde. It will, over the next five months, retrace its steps through Aquarius all the way to 29 degrees of Capricorn, giving us one last look at its almost two decades in Capricorn and the role of the institutions and structures in our lives before it takes up residence in Radical Aquarius. I wish you a beautiful week and thank you so much for joining me here. As always, if you enjoy this content, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And please write me a comment below. I truly appreciate you and the kind messages you leave. Thank you.